So my presentation is on sleep and productivity. So by a show of hands, can I see how many of you like sleep? And how many of you get enough sleep? Okay, so I want you guys to think about the last time you were in class and you were sleepy. Hopefully not now, but just you were sleepy, your eyes were getting heavy, your body started slouching, your head started getting wavy, and then bam! Your brain woke you up. And this is because your body is just so, it's so exhausted because your muscles are finding ways to just relax and rest, but your brain remains awake and it's creating continued misinterpretations of falling and loss of balance. My name is Jericho and I have done plenty of research on sleep and I hope that after this speech you guys will have more knowledge than you did before. This is relevant to you guys, my audience, because we're all college students. And due to the article, sleep deprivation soars among college students, we're part of the largest group that is sleep deprived. So, many of us have a general gist of what the purpose of sleep is, but not many of us know the specifics. So, sleep is important for a number of reasons. According to an article by the University Health Center, it restores our energy, it fights off illness, it helps us think more clearly and creatively, better mood and better performance throughout the day. Sleep isn't just a passive activity, but rather an active and dynamic process, vital for normal motor and cognitive function. So, does anyone know how much sleep we actually need? Anyone? Eight hours. Eight, nine, eight, seven, eight, nine. Adults need seven to nine hours of sleep, and the average college students get six to 6.9 hours of sleep. So to get the actual benefits of sleep, we need seven to nine, and the average we get is way below that. So. That is a problem. So, why do we get less sleep? In the article, Sleep in College Life, it had a picture of this. It said, social life, study, and sleep in a pyramid. And then, at the bottom, the caption was, welcome to college, pick two. So, time permits only two out of three activities. So, obviously, we're Cal Poly students. So we can find a good balance that suits our personalities. But when we need extra time to study or extra time to party, well, we give up this sleep. We're not gonna, we're not gonna um, do two extra hours of partying and then give up studying time. We're not gonna study more and give up partying time. We're gonna give up sleep. So if I told you when you guys are staying away from doing work for long periods of time that you're actually getting unproductive, would you guys still do that? And the answer is yes, because you're not just going to sleep more, because we can't in our, in our schedules. So sleep deprivation effects. Recent, recent uh, research on college students and sleep indicates that insufficient sleep impacts our health, our moods, our GPA, and our safety. Also when we get little sleep, we tend to miss class, have poor classroom, performance and difficulty concentrating. In the article, Coping with Excessive Sleepiness, it says sleep deprivation has a number of side effects. Leads to regular heartbeat, diabetes, depress depressing, ages your skin, it makes you forgetful. Um, so, what is our solution? Our solution is sleep. And <laughs> courtesy of Cal Poly Sleep's Instagram, this is showing us taking a nap, but in the wrong times. So, what my solution, instead of just sleeping longer, is naps. So, if you don't want to change your whole sleep schedule, you can find 30 minutes to dedicate a wonderful power nap. The reason why you only need 30 minutes of napping is because if you nap longer than 30 minutes, you have a choice. If you, if you sleep longer than 30 minutes, you tend to, to go into deep sleep, and then when you wake up, you actually feel more groggy, and tired, so it actually counter affects it. So the reason for this is when we sleep, we have two phases, which is rapid eye movement and non-rapid eye movement, which is REM and non-REM. So in the first 30 minutes, you're in REM. So you're sleeping and you're getting rested, but you're not in deep sleep. So after 30 minutes, you start drifting off into non-REM, and that's why you feel sleepy after 30 minutes. So my solution is power naps. And that is my roommate taking a nap. So, power naps <laughs> boost our brains, including improvements to creative problem solving, verbal memory, object learning, 
statistical learning, math, our reaction times, simple recognition, improve our mood, our feelings. So we should all nap. But let's admit it. No matter how productive we try to be, we end up spending at least 30 minutes distracted, whether it be on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or Tumblr. So instead of spending, you know, YouTube watching half an hour of uh, cute cats or news bloopers, or spend 30 minutes scrolling down on someone you like on Instagram, just, you know, just stop and take a 30 minute nap. There are four types of napping, plan napping, emergency napping, habitual <laughs> napping, and repetitive napping. Plan napping is when you know that you're going to stay up late, so you plan a nap in the afternoon. Emergency napping is just how it sounds when you're driving and you get so sleepy and you're afraid you're going to kill someone. So you pull over and you, you stop and take a nap. Habitual napping is when you pick every day and at the same time to nap. And repetitive napping is the active napping simply for enjoyment. So depending on what your <laughs> schedule looks like, you guys should pick a napping type and stick to it. In a recent study, they had people in two groups take four visual memory tests. One group went about their daily routine while the other got to take a nap. The results were shocking because the group that didn't take a nap got progressively worse throughout the day, and the group that did take a nap got back to where they started around 4 p.m. and 7, and they stayed that way. So with this, uh, with this research, they showed that showing that when it comes to sleep-dependent learning, a nap is as good as a full night's sleep. So, in another article, Afternoon Nap is a New Trend in Productivity, they did some research and it, it states, now people are catching up on this new style of being more productive, and Japan is taking advantage of it. Japanese companies are known for their productivity, and their secret is naps. They allow their workers to take 30-minute naps and as a result, when they are working, they are working hard and diligently. Instead of no sleep, they're getting groggy and they're feeling tired. They're trying to stay up and they're trying to get a lot of work done, but they're just so tired. So, in conclusion, I would like to say that sleep is a powerful thing. It gets us energized, creative, healthy, young looking, and it's just overall good for us. And us being in college, we're going to be sleep deprived, there's no doubt about it. So. I just hope that the next time you know you're going to stay up late or you find yourself on a social network or YouTube for more than 30 minutes, you know, go do yourself, your body and brain a favor and go take a 30 minute nap. You'll find yourself to be more alert, in a better mood, and what all of us strive to be and be more productive. Thank you.